education and entertainment sectors, and manage the transition to new products and new technologies. In 1990, our focus in the Business Imaging Group was on U.S. markets. In 1991, we are working with our subsidiaries overseas to develop more intensive international business imaging plans. This year, we're also developing the first ever five-year product plan specifically for business imaging. Now, given the level of opportunity out there, our very targeted focus, and the positive initial results we've had to date, we're confident that business imaging will contribute its share of the corporation's rapid, profitable growth. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carl. I bet all of you know what's coming up next. You guessed it, technical and industrial imaging, presented by Bob Delahunt. But before that, let's take a look at our final Polaroid Minute. Technical and industrial imaging. We sell to six distinct market sectors. Identification and documentation, professional, scientific, medical, presentation products, and technical polarizers. We're a global business, and we sell a large and complex mix of products. Over 50 types of film, over 100 different pieces of hardware, and many more to others who put our camera backs on their equipment. Along with high-use application instant film sales, Technical and Industrial Imaging is introducing electronic imaging solutions like Helios and the ID2000 for our key customers today and in the future. Good morning, everyone. I'm here today to review with you our plans for growing the technical and industrial imaging business. Because we've had a limited amount of time for this satellite conference, I cannot talk about each of the businesses in detail. I can, however, explain our strategy for some exciting growth opportunities. First, let me define our business. It involves the six sectors described earlier, plus two new ones we will be adding later this year, law enforcement and government. As you can see from this chart, the identification and documentation business is by far the largest part of our business, accounting for 43% of total worldwide sales. The scientific sector accounts for about 18%. The professional sector, 16%. Medical, about 15 Presentation products, 6 And the technical polarizer section, 2% of our worldwide sales. In the technical and industrial imaging business, we have the advantage of being able to find our customers easily, and more importantly, to talk to them. In the medical market, for example, we can identify all the radiologists worldwide. In the ID sector, we are able to locate the companies and institutions that need security badge equipment. And in the scientific market sector, we know the large research laboratories, and this really helps us to talk with our customer and define their needs, which is the key to our success. In addition, we also define our markets geographically. With 60% of our business overseas, we must be mindful of the differing regional needs of our worldwide customers. For example, in our ID business, when the Berlin Wall came down last year, we had the opportunity to sell to a completely new market for documentation. East Germans and East Europeans were now able to travel and were in need of passports, visas, and driver's licenses. The international orientation of our business means that we must be able to respond to competitive challenges and opportunities anywhere in the world. While we have to try to learn to extend our products and technologies across all six sectors, we also know that each sector has its own strategy and its own needs. Let's look at each sector in more detail. Our largest market sector, the ID and documentation market, is going to grow significantly. People who have been unable to travel by world conditions now need and are available to travel and need travel documents. This is extremely good for our passport business. 
In the U.S., over 80% of all passports are taken on Polaroid film. In other parts of the world, like India, we have developed new low-cost mini-portrait cameras that put entrepreneurs in the documentation business for under $200. And they provide a black and white passport picture for a very reasonable price. At the high end of the market for identification, we know that customers want to be able to combine pictures with text and data. So our engineer and design labs have created the ID2000, the best fully integrated electronic workstation in the ID business. This means Polaroid provides the total solution, everything, the hardware, the media, the badges, the laminate, as well as the training and service. So our growth in this ID business is going to come from responding to new markets as they emerge internationally and combining them with new products to meet the needs of a wide range of customers, from the individual entrepreneur in India to airports, nuclear power plants, even the headquarters for the European Economic Community, where our ID2000 links three countries and 11 facilities on a real-time basis. And by the way, just yesterday, we received a large order from 3M Corporation for a large internal corporate ID system. The best part of the story is that we replaced an Eastman Kodak Eticon system. Now let's turn to our scientific sector. <laughs> Now let's turn to our scientific market. This market is primarily aimed at using Polaroid film to serve the imaging needs of laboratories for applications such as photomicroscopy. There are literally hundreds of applications of biological and medical research that need documentation. We know this business is going to decline somewhat in the next few years as competition comes from other imaging forms. So our strategy here is to stem the decline for the near term with aggressive marketing. In the longer term, we plan to bring new products to market that meet the needs of the scientific customer, such as Helios and new color media. Our presentation market is very new, just over two years old, and it's doing very well. In this business, we are selling to totally new customers through completely new distribution channels. Today, 20 million new office catalogs carry Polaroid products. Demand is good for our product line of slide makers, transparencies, and computer film recorders. Our new IBM-compatible CI3000 digital color film recorder is a very hot product, and it's selling very well. The Macintosh version of this unit is expected very shortly. Professional photography is a mature market, but it still has a lot of opportunity to sell film. We're looking at expanding our share of this market with non-traditional uses of film, like the image transfer you see here. Our strategy is to increase the use of our film through interesting new applications and to capitalize on our wide range of high-quality specialized films. Our technical polarizer market is based on one of our oldest product lines, and even though it's the smallest of our businesses, we think it has growth potential in the sale of computer film screen recorders and liquid crystal displays. Now I'd like to turn to the medical market as an example of how we are building on Polaroid's competencies to gain a share of a $3 billion worldwide market. With Helios, Polaroid has developed an entirely new media that is not at all based on our traditional silver halide technology. It is a black and white, dry, non-silver, high resolution, high quality, archival imaging system. Its sensors, lasers, film, digital electronics, and mechanics are unique. And Helios has been developed entirely at our labs here at Polaroid. We've created a video to show you why Helios is so important to us. Let's take a look. This is an ultrasound examination. It has many medical uses, from checking the heartbeat of an unborn child to, in this case, looking for a possible liver problem. The technician uses her screen for reference, but the radiologist will want a hard copy image 
for diagnosis. In 1975, Polaroid sold almost 25 million film packs for diagnostic medical use. In that same year, however, competition came up with something better, a traditional chemically processed multi-format image with sharper image quality at a fraction of the cost. We began to lose out on a very profitable market. In the mid 80s, we felt we had a counterattack. We wanted back in the market. But how would we find out what it would take to get back in? We created multidisciplinary teams to understand, to identify, and translate market needs into product specifications. We went on site to interview the radiologist, the technologist, and hospital administrator. We wanted to understand how the radiologist worked and what his special imaging needs were. Polaroid found that the radiologists liked their multi-image transparencies. But they hated the time-consuming, messy chemical processing, plumbing, and darkroom maintenance. And they really hated the inconsistent results. It was all a hundred-year-old weak link in the world of electronic imaging. In 1986, we knew exactly what to do. Create a reliable, daylight-safe, high-resolution, archival-quality imaging system without wet chemicals, that would print an image in about 60 seconds. I was put into a group working on a project called Helios that was to develop a new laser imaging system. My very first day, I heard them talking about creating a new non-silver dry film, inventing a new high-power laser, creating new digital electronics, and coming up with a whole new way of making images. We we're all set. I think I have all the images I need. They're ready now. We have a new Polaroid laser imager. I'll just check these on the light box. It turned out that I had joined a very talented multidiscipline group. We all worked together as a team. We took on a tremendous challenge and figured out just how to do it. This is what we ended up with. This is a piece of unexposed Helios film. We can handle it in daylight, and it comes in a tray of 100 sheets. Here is the finished image. It's a high-resolution image made up of dots, some as small as one five-thousandth of an inch. This is our state-of-the-art Helios laser imager. The 100-sheet film tray is inside. Each time the technician captures an image, our proprietary electronics digitizes and stores it. When enough images to fill a sheet have been captured, they're written on our new non-silver film by our special high-power lasers. About a minute later, it's ready. These high-resolution laser images were specially designed to best show what the radiologist needs to see. There are no chemicals to handle or dispose of, which is great for the environment. No more fumbling in the dark room or messy or jammed processors. This is what our research showed the medical community really wanted to see. And everyone benefits. The hospital saves time and money. More patients can be examined. And the technologist is free to focus on the examination and on the care of the patient. The images have come out very nicely. I'll take them to your doctor right away. The development of Helios is an example of how a market-based organization can apply new technology to meet customer needs. To summarize our strategies for growth, in the ID and documentation business, we're going to respond to new international markets and innovate with new products across a complete product line. In the medical market, we are going to aggressively defend our existing market share in the traditional markets and grow the business by introducing the Helios system. In the scientific area, we are going to hold a line with our instant film products and develop new film media that will meet the long-term needs of the scientist. In presentation, we're bringing products to market through new distribution channels that take advantage of Polaroid's technology and marketing competencies. In professional, we're promoting non-traditional applications of Polaroid film. 
and in the technical polarizer, we're selling one of Polaroid 